Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about disabling the user account control on our Windows 10 machine using PowerShell. Let's go ahead and take a look at my user account control, and we're going to do this by going down here to the search bar, and I'll type in UAC. From the menu, I'll go ahead and click on where it says Change User Account Control Settings. Currently, my user account control is set to about medium. Let's go ahead and cancel out of that. Now, if you want to disable it permanently, then you have to reset the setting up inside of the registry to zero. Currently, it's set to one. Let's see how we do that using PowerShell. So to access PowerShell, I'm just going to go here in my search bar. I'm going to type in PO, and from the menu, I will select Windows PowerShell, and I'm going to run as administrator. But there's the user access control asking me, do I want to run PowerShell? Kind of annoying, and if you're an administrator, this gets in the way quite a bit. I'll go ahead and say yes, and there's my PowerShell. At the prompt, I'm just going to right click, and I'm going to paste that long PowerShell command into my PowerShell window. I'll also make this long command available to you in the description or in the lab file. It looks like my Windows 10 PowerShell is happy with the current syntax. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back and it lets you know that the command completed successfully. Down here at the bottom, it tells you that you must restart your machine for the changes to take effect. Let's go ahead and close out PowerShell. We'll restart and we'll come back up and we'll check my user account control. And we're back. And so now, if I go look at my user account control, you'll see that it is completely turned off. Go ahead and cancel out of that. And to double check, I can just go up here and try to launch this executable. And it launches without the warning from my UAC. And so in this short video presentation, you got to see how we can disable the user account control on our Windows 10 machine using PowerShell. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.